what do you what did you mean by saying you had a bad experience on TV? When I was at the WBS, there was this kind of thing where the new girl they bet on a new girl, like the different camera guys and the producers bet on the new girl of like who's going to sleep with her first. Okay. So at that point, I had my mummy Sophie, and then she left. And she was protecting. You. Yes. And she was just so good to me until today we are like this. Like when I see her, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, it's good times. So she left and that was like three months into like my, also my departure. Mm. And then there was this producer that I was given it was quite hard on me. Mm. The way they used to want to touch you, they want to make you up and then they, you know, those very, very the funny that we stuff. we know now as sexual harassment yes. and inappropriate. Yes. Stuff like you're going to work in the night. Remember, I was doing a, a short time yeah. magazine show. Like, mm -hmm. you work in the night, yeah. dropping you, they drop people. Everyone else first. I used to stay in Kisasi. WBS was where? Naguru. And they drop people of Wentebe before me. Just for him to have that last time with me. I didn't even say goodbye. Mm. Like I just woke up one day and I just didn't go to work. And I wanted to be a news anchor. Cause Another TV station. Yes. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a news anchor because uh, Bale Francis told me, you need to be. Like that's what he told me. Okay. Mm -hmm. He told me you need to be on TV. So in my mind, I was going to do broadcast. I was going to major in broadcast. So we had two internships, the first one and the second one. My first internship, I'm at this TV station and I am done with my internship and all that. And then they, I wanted to stay. I wanted to stay, maybe do something on TV, maybe for free, mm -hmm. by the way, for yeah. free. Mm. And then this gentleman told me, you know what to do. I didn't get it the first time. I really didn't get it the first time. So I was like, mm, I don't know what to do. I don't know. asked a, co a colleague of mine and she told me, you're a girl now. Why don't you know? And the gentleman made sure he fails me. He made sure he fails me. I had to redo my internship at another TV station. Actually, I did it at a radio station instead. I'm sorry. He made sure he fails me. So I was like, me, go to TV. When I was majoring, I said public After relations. All that drama. Yes, I said public relations. I'll just major in public mm. relations. And I know I'll get a job. And thankfully, I graduated today did my interview that very day and I got a job that very day. Mm. What you're talking about, I had a talk with some young ladies and I was hearing from young ladies in mm. entertainment and they were asking me how to deal with that issue and this was just last year? Yeah. Or no, 2019. I think, how do you deal with a man who want this or mm. want that, who will block you and fail you? And you know, it's something that you were able to see early on. Yeah. But it's so many young women are dealing with that, that nonsense. I just really hated, I, I, I hated working on TV, even when I was still doing the Showtime and K-Files. Mm. K-Files, I was protected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was very protected, so much. And I thank God for Mr. Waraga. He protected me so much. I never used to go into field so much mm. because I was actually learning on the job. So I'd do the links, just that sometimes. Or yeah. sometimes I'll just go with him and he tells me, just sit, watch what people do, and then just sit and learn. Mm. But when I went to WBS, it was difficult. Like uh, someone, a minister just decides to say, oh, you call me that girl. Mm. Like, it was just a bad experience. Sorry, I still remember the whole, they call you and then before you know it, there's a rolled amount of money uh -huh, being put in yes. your hand. And then you're like, what are you supposed and to do? And then he calls you the next day and he's like, why didn't you call me? And then you take... Then With the business card. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then some t one time I rejected it and like, who do you think you are? I was in a parking lot. And I rejected the money. I remember it was Kati Kati. It, it, was, it, was, it wasn't it was good. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm sorry about that. So I said, you know what? No, I'm not doing this. Mm, I can do so many other things. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Miss Uganda. Yes. How did that happen? Miss Uganda, I, I had met Joram in 2000, 
2012. Okay. 2012, when I joined campus, I used to usher a lot because uh -huh. I, I needed to take myself through. There's a time where mommy couldn't mm. afford and then daddy was always playing some games. Yeah. Yeah. So I had just really just decided, you know, I'm not going to call my father. Mm -hmm. So I had to survive. Yeah. I did ushering. I, I I modeled a bit. I, I just <laughs> did everything. I was a cashier at some bar. <laughs> I just did everything to make sure I survived. Mm -hmm. So I, during my modeling time, I met Joram. But I was a tomboy. Okay. As a, as a tomboy. <laughs> okay. Crystal, as a tomboy who used to wear chucks. <laughs> as a tomboy. With, we call them peckers. Mm -hmm. I'm a soldier girl. So... Back like hoodies? No, oh, hoodies back. and yeah. Okay. You know, my, my brother is a soldier, so they call him Peckers. Ah. So that's what I'm, I'm used to. Mm. So when he saw me, he was like, you're such a beautiful girl, but you just don't carry yourself like a woman. How about I take you through training mm -hmm. and maybe you do Miss Uganda next year. That was 2012. I oh. said, okay. Okay. What do I need? He told me, first of all, you need a pair of heels. <laughs> Gold silver black mm -hmm. so i bought kitten heels the first time he looked at me like <laughs> <laughs> so he went and bought me heels and told me start walking in these heels gracefully mm -hmm. so he taught me everything we had a group of girls me fabiola ella but ella hadn't come back mm. from uk but all the group of girls that were actually in the top 22 mm -hmm. all of us were trained by Jerome. right okay. yeah mm -hmm. so he trained us for like six months and then we went for um, our regionals. And then I made first runner-up. Mm -hmm. And then Jerome was like, you see, but when you make first runner-up, you, you haven't made it to the top 22. So you're supposed to come back to Kampala for pre-selections. Mm -hmm. So we come back to Kampala and he's like, this time you need to make sure you get into the top 22. Okay. So, and then I had made friends, Fabiola, and then Flosha was my friend, and everyone was like, no, the ones from the West, because I went to the West, that's mm. what I know. The ones from the West were supposed to enter this house. So, <laughs> I made Shobambi, they, they supported me, mm. the tomboy. I, they did my makeup, got me a nice swimsuit. Mm -hmm. Pre-selection, you're supposed to wear a swimsuit. Mm -hmm. Like, they tried. And then I was cold fast. Mm -hmm. So I made it to top 22. Okay. Joram was like, you see, now go to the house and make sure you do something. All right. Joram was like, the only thing that you have on you is your personality. Let it shine. Okay. And then when I, I was selected first, so I was contested number one, but mm. I also was the shortest. Mm. Yeah. So Joram told me the chances of you being Miss Uganda are very, very very, very tiny. You won't make it. Even if you made it, Miss World wouldn't say yes to you. Okay. So mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do is make your mark. Use the opportunity. Yes. So when I went to um, Miss Uganda, I decided to just be myself. I remember they called me Nambandala because uh, in Lusoga, it's number one. Mm -hmm. So I used to tell them, I'm number one. Like, I'm number one. <laughs> everything, everything. Say, they're giving out water. I am number one. I get water first. Like, I just made sure everyone knows I'm number one. So it caught Miss Desha's eye. And mm. then she liked, apparently, the way I walk in heels. Like me? <laughs> well, she would always say, look at her. And I'm like, so me? The training. The training paid off, <laughs> my dear. Yes. Well done, John. <laughs> So, and mm -hmm. then uh, we made it to top 10. Mm -hmm. And then, when you, you were the MC. Let me tell you something I did, by the way. Until today, I was supposed to tell you this. Do you know I peeped? I knew you were going to call me when we made top 10. Uh -huh. Like I saw my name and I was like, get ready. They're going to call you. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> because you were standing right next to me. Oh my God. <laughs> And you're holding the phone like this. I just peeped and I saw my name. I was like, just get ready. I did not know. <laughs> I swear I did not know this. Oh, I had to tell you. I don't know how I didn't tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> 
so I made it top 10 mm -hmm. and then did I make it top of, I don't remember but I I made Miss Personality. Yeah. So that's how I got the Miss Personality thing. Mm -hmm. That's how Mr. Waraga saw me. That's how the Indians saw me for the for the that Escape from Uganda movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where it all started. That's where my entertainment industry thingy started. All right. Yeah. So you really got that platform and you worked with it. Yes. So I you did. had your TV experience working on TV. What about working in the movie? Working, I didn't know anything. Okay. They, they, Again, you were like, okay, let's figure this out. Mama called us and said, they said all the brown girls. <laughs> <laughs> so we were like, mama, okay, what do we do? It's like, they're going to give you your scripts when you arrive. <laughs> Just go and be yourselves. <laughs> Okay. So we went to golf course <laughs> and then the gentleman gave us our scripts. So everyone did their thing. They chose me and Fabiola mm -hmm. and then we did the movie. Okay. Yeah, and they shot it and we premiered it at Serena and everything was nice. Okay. Actually, the time they premiered it, I did the red carpet correspondence because I was already on TV now. Mm -hmm. So I was working while working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how it's so is that something you could see yourself doing again? Acting. Was it? Yes. Nah. Nah. Hmm. Why? Nah, nah, Why? Nah, 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 nah. I mean, you tried it. Nah. You're like, no, not for me. Eh? No, not for me. Acting. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. No. So straight after campus, you went into public relations. Yes. And that was with? Uh, Oranto Petroleum. Okay. It was a petroleum company oh. that had just opened, I think, two years ago. Mm -hmm. So they wanted a public relations communities manager. And uh, my sister was doing sales for them, um, uh, telecommunication sales. Mm. So she was like, come and escort me, you're doing nothing at home. <laughs> I refused uh, to do a graduation party. I told them, give me my money. I am going to buy a piece of land. Why okay. are you eating food when I don't have land? So I bought land, but I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Mm -hmm. I was home at my sister's place. She was like, come, let's go and work. Let me show you how they work. So I enter this office. I like your sister. <laughs> <laughs> so I enter this office. And I'm like dressed like, do you know when you're from Miss you're gonna just learn how to wear heels mm -hmm. and everything, you're proper. Uh -huh. Put yourself together. Yes. Nicely. So I went with my sister and she sat in that office for like seven hours and I was bored. So I knocked on the door <laughs> of the CEO. <laughs> yes. And I was like, you see, we left home at six, eh? Mm -hmm. It's one, I haven't eaten. May I please take my sister with me to eat? She'll come back. So the Nigerian man was looking at me like, this kind of confidence. Like, young girl, what's your name? I told him, my name is this and this and this and this. Mm -hmm. He's like, okay, what do you do? I told him, I just graduated yesterday. I really, I'm not doing anything, but I'm a major of this and this and this. Mm -hmm. It's like, we're looking for someone in that post. So I told him, okay. Let's talk about this money thing. <laughs> He's like, why are you fast? Why are you fast going? To my I told him, Google me. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> so when he put, he told me, what's your name? I told him, give me your phone. I put in my name. And then he just saw my name everywhere. Mm -hmm. I was like, come, let's have a chat. <laughs> I told him the amount of money I wanted. And he's like, see, standard procedure. Mm. A junior staff in oil gets this much, mm. but you will get this much and this much and this much. This is what we want you to do, blah, 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 blah. Mm. So he told me, they're going to send you your contract. Uh, you can start working. Okay. It was like the last days of January. Mm. So I told him, I'll start working in February. Started working in Feb. Mm -hmm. And uh, how was the experience? Good. It was nice? Yes, I stepped on my first private jet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my boss was quite Bucket rich. List. Yeah. I'd have breakfast in Uganda, lunch in Kenya, dinner in Tanzania, and then we go to South Africa. Mm -hmm. I, I was in 30 African countries in eight months. Wow. Yeah. My goodness. 
-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The gentleman had a jet. So whenever he needed to meet people, just go. Okay. So I had fun, but I wasn't happy. Why? Um, I felt like the need to do something. I always wanted to work in the entertainment industry, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. Okay. But I'm this kind of person who just organizes. Like even at work. Oh, so you don't want to be the, yes. the face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, but mm -hmm. I want to be in the background. Mm -hmm. Even at the oil company, they used to call me Minister of Entertainment because all our sister companies, whether in Senegal, where, 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 I told them what to do mm -hmm. in this entertainment. Okay. Like they would come knowing there is a fixer called Jayla who is going to take us everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Even my boss on Friday would say, Minister of Entertainment, where are we going today? So I tell him, today, illusion, what, what, what. Then on Sunday, here. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I took a break. Mm -hmm. in uh, 2016, I think August or September, I don't remember. And uh, I worked with Ella on a project, a mysterism project. She mm -hmm. was the chaperone. Yes. So she told me, you know what, take a break. Come and work with me. If you don't like what you're doing, decide. Maybe you go back. And uh, my boss was quite lenient. I don't know how. He was okay with you going? <laughs> yes was okay with me going. So I left. We used to meet in the club and you tell me, when are you coming back to work? <laughs> <laughs> so then I went back in, 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 in 2017, I think. Um, when we signed the deal, I just realized, you know what? I actually don't want to be here. It was clear. It was clear. Mm. I remember I started like, I would say, oh, my mom is sick, and then I'd go to Ghana. Oh, my mom is... I, like, was, I was traveling everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I was traveling. I just didn't want to stay. So, as I was going to give in my resignation mm -hmm. in March 2018, I got a phone call from a one Vince Mosisi. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he told me, Julius is going to call you. Julius Chazel. Mm -hmm. Swans, mm -hmm. Julius Swans. is going to call you. He's looking for someone who does public relations and management. Mm -hmm. I know you've been doing public relations and communities. This one is different. Okay. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't call you, give him a call. That was like beginning of March. Uh, I went back home. I told my mom. My mom is like, entertainment? You have been earning this much this side, you know, oil and dollars, this much this side. And then, well, how much are you going to earn this? I told mommy, it's not, I'm not happy. Hmm. You know me. I'm, I'm doing what happy. I want to do. Yes. Hmm. Maybe, let me try this thing out. I've just started working. Let me try this thing out. So, I give him a call. And um, I tell him, oh, Vince Musisi told me about this and this and this and this. Um, I was waiting for your call. And he's like, oh, I was supposed to call you, but I've been very busy. Mm -hmm. and then, and then, can we meet on this day? I was like, ah, oh, cool. Okay. I went and met him. And he told me, um, we need a person who can do PR and management. Mm -hmm. uh, the company is expanding and we are beginning to want someone who can handle that department. I said, okay. And he's like, and when are you starting to work? And that was that? Yes. I told him, uh... <laughs> Hold on. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I came here for us to discuss this thing, <laughs> not to start working. <laughs> so I told him I'm still at a job. I need to give them a one month a notice. notice. Mm. And uh, we need to talk about my terms. Yes. <laughs> And then I started this thing of, um, I shall need this and much dollars. Mm -hmm. He was like, <laughs> dollars, okay. <laughs> We're going to talk about this, but... Because, <laughs> I mean, I was used to that. Yes, yes. But we had a very good conversation. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. He, um, I didn't know anything about money, events management. I, I learned on the job. I okay. should say I learned on the job. PR, I knew. Mm -hmm. But you see, PR that you study at uni is different from very, yeah, mm -hmm. very different. Mm -hmm. You're literally learning from the job. Yeah. So I waited it out for a month. They sent me my contract, a few changes here and there. Um, and then I started working at That's Swanks nice. in 2018. Something completely different, huh? Yes. Okay. And I should say 2018 was my best and worst year. Okay. Yeah. Best and worst. Yes. Okay. Worst. It was my best and worst year. Best ever. because of the career change? Yes. Best because of the career change. I was all over the place. I was just doing it right, left and center. I was happy. Mm -hmm. I was doing all stars, doing Rost and Rhyme. It, I was just so happy. It mm -hmm. was fulfilling. Okay. And I remember when we finished All Star and uh, I was doing my report, and my boss told me, you have done a very good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think that's when I, yeah, that was my best year. Mm -hmm. And then as I was at the tip of my year, mm -hmm. I knew I have done it. Then we did Rost and Rhyme October. But in between there, while I was all over the place, my mom was down. Like she was diagnosed with cancer. Mm. 